This is the star of this property. He's called Larry Bear. This is his girlfriend and sidekick, Mary. The Reverend Dr. Mahalia Bear, who pastors the first period. With the 1989 Toy Fair still two weeks away, the people at Galoob Toys are already looking to the 90s. This man wants Galoob to manufacture a line of bears that will appear in a cartoon he's developing. Well, it's fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. His pitch goes all the way to the top. It, your, your presentation is shockingly good. David Galoob. And uh, I think there's, we have a lot of interest. But you have to come and sing periodically at my house. Okay. I have a party. But with Toy Fair bearing down... You can't rest in this business. Galoob had more immediate worries. Probably there's 200 different items for the 1989 line. Because they're handmade, we'll bring four to six or seven uh, of each of these to New York in order to make sure that if they break down, which they will because they're handmade, we have others to put back into the showroom. This is what we'll sometimes get out of the cases in New York. We have to look as good as we possibly can because this is the final impression that the buying community will have of the Galoob toy line. We also have light-up cars this year. The executive vice president of Cameron, the number two guy in the company. These will be on the market probably around. The big guys, Dick Miller. Miller. These are the big boys coming in. Okay. Their job at Toy Fair is easier this time around. They're like little jewels. They've got the third best-selling toy in the country right now. Inside, we have the most tiny vehicles called micro-machines. This is, a, is an item that has come in and really made a big impact on the industry. Uh, the world's smallest uh, collectible vehicles. Uh, we've really created a niche in the marketplace. We have a, uh, a dedicated consumer base. And looks, this looks like one of the items that can be around for the next 20 years. And well, we're taking it a step further. Not only do you see the detail and play value of the buildings, but they light up. But, but really representative of the seesaw nature of this industry, in three years' time, you go from 110 million in sales, you lose 25 million, 24 million, and then rebound to 136. We had the wrong product mix in 1987, but, uh, and we know it. What you find when you lose money is that you don't have any friends. How are things in Japan? Banks don't like you. Financial analysts don't, don't like you. You're getting... No, no, I've always been fat, and it's been a tough uh, hole to come out of. Uh, but we're back, we're back now. Expands into an assault base. The walk, snuggle. You have just entered a new dimension of play. But when you're hot, the next generation, they come looking for you. Perfect for our older store. The first to call on Galoob at Toy Fair, the biggest retailer of them all, Toys R Us chairman Charles Lazarus. It's, it's an honor to have Charles and, and his uh, management team come in here first at Toy Fair. Uh, it makes us feel very, very good. What's the Galoob phenomenon? I think it's right here. I think it's Micro Machine. But that's not all. They call me the Micro Machine Highway Warrior. The daring is dude on the road here to beat up the highways with these mighty Micro Machine Highway Warriors. With advertising like this... Wow, there's so many Micro Machines to choose from. Galoob is hoping to sell $100 million worth of Micro Machines in 89. Remember, if it doesn't say Micro Machine, it's not the real thing. How much do you have to worry about people ripping off your product and knocking it off? We worry a lot about it. It's unfortunately a problem in this business that once you establish a category or a product line that's very, very successful... And the service here is simply stupendous! There's a whole group of people that, that make their living by knocking you off. I would guess that we'll lose maybe 10 to 15% of our business this year from the, quote, knockoff artist. What's in this case? There's a lot of secrecy. Uh, we don't want anybody to know what we're doing. What's in the case? It's, uh, it's a new exciting doll. What's in the case? <laughs> a new exciting doll. Uh -huh. It's a little hard to describe. The product developer at Galoob is Sal Jodell. He agrees to let us into a normally closed door meeting with inventor Avi Arad. It's the first doll that reads a book. But the doll, made in Europe, reads Italian. If you watch the lips. In this hush hush secret business, why are you letting us see that? Because this particular product is already in so production. If this, if this was not a production item, we wouldn't let you see it. 
Just hold the trigger down with the stick. And Soaring profits were what Galoob salesmen were predicting at the end of the first day of Toy Fair. And what is shaping up to be a Galoob salesman's dream. We were mobbed from 10 after 8 this morning right throughout to the end of the day. If this is what I can expect out of the first day out of you guys, I'm very, very happy. With I've never seen a meeting like this. These guys are pumped uh, because the word is out that we're very, 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 very hot. Kameka is one of the top five toy companies in the world. Thank you.